It sounds like Carl and Cindy deal with activity every day. But now, whatever's causing the disturbance is getting worse. The activity is actually frightening them. The scary part, there's no way to know if the intention is positive or negative. But the stovetop turning on and off could be dangerous. And they don't want the activity to pick up, so there's a lot at stake here. Let's start from the okay. beginning, and you just tell us exactly what's going on. After we bought the house, we bought the house about 2012. Okay. And there was somebody who had been living here, and uh, it was really a mess from what I understand. Mm -hmm. And I tore everything out. Is that about when the activity started? Yep. But I don't think it's sure of me. Okay. I think it's, it likes Carl better. Mm. Okay, and what, what, makes you th what makes you say that? It, it, it's more around him than mm -hmm. it is for me. Okay, anything specifically happening in this, in this space? Yes. Mm -hmm. I, w I was lying on the couch, and all of a sudden, uh, somebody said, Carl, hi, I'm here. The, the voice, it sounded like it was familiar with you, or? It, I mean, it seems like it was comfortable, it, it, or? It, it sounded like it was comfortable being here. Okay. And every once in a while, I'll hear, like, music. You hear the music regularly, or? Yes. Does it sound like it has a filter in between you and itself, or is it clear? It, it's not clear. Okay. Um, but you definitely know it's music. Okay. And it, it's been amping up. Uh, we've had knocking. We've had... Uh, Footsteps. Touching. Where in the house does the touching happen? Upstairs. Okay. The touching happens up here. The knocking hop happens up here. The, the sounds, the booms, and, and they're always at a, at a strong. What does it sound like exactly? It sounds like, like say, someone running against the door, mm -hmm. like the thud. And then the, okay. the knocking is different. It's just it sounds, definite knocks. It's definite knocks. Where in this upset where? It's come out of, out of this room. This is mm -hmm. our dressing room out of the closet. Um, in the closet, the knocks? Yep. Yes. OK. Yep. Like? Right, yeah. And it was on the, the actual door here? And that only happened that one time? No, the three times oh, it okay. has happened. Yeah. Like that? Yes, just like that. This was the, uh, the workshop, and it was probably like right about here where that chair was. And I was standing about here, and, and that's when it, it just slid out and turned right side up and then came down to the mm. floor. And it didn't, it didn't even slam, which it, I, I can't understand. So someone like, like set it down. They, like they almost. set it down, right. Almost as if they were pulling out a chair at a mm. dining room table and setting down, they're gonna talk to me or something. Okay. So uh, this was what time of the day? Uh, it was at night. It was at night. And how soon after you moved in did that happen? It wasn't, it wasn't that long, yeah. Hmm. Any idea who you might think it is? Mm -hmm. I, I mean, really just... don't. I really don't know. Okay. I, I know my, when my my grandmother had died. We were very very close. What when, What was your grandmother's name, really quick? My grandmother's name was Helen. Okay. Something doesn't feel quite right. We know from past cases that it's not always the most likely suspect. And if it was a loving family member, why would Carl and Cindy feel so threatened by it? I need to sit down with Cindy and see if there is something else at play here. How does it feel to have this thing that's here with you? Intimidating. It's like an invasion. Right. Very, like, very much so. Has there, has there ever been anything that you felt especially afraid of? Upstairs, I definitely feel like someone's standing next to me watching me. And, and whatever it is always touches me on my right arm. Mm-hmm. When all the activity really started ramping up, I got more worried about walking upstairs or walking downstairs. How much further was it gonna go? That's what really made me afraid. Right, your own personal safety at that for, point. Yeah, for, for me, mm -hmm. yes. Is there anybody that you can think of that maybe you have lost or been connected to over the years? 
The only one I can think of is my grandmother. When she passed away, nobody knew that she was ill, and none of us kids got to go to see her. Her name was Mary. All right. Do you think it's something or someone that knew Carl, or do you think it came with the house? If I had to guess if it was one person, it would be his grandmother. Does that ever make you worry for him? I do, mm -hmm. but, I, but I can't say anything. Yeah. Because I don't want him to know how much I worry. Cindy has watched over the last five years as this activity has escalated. The next logical step is that this thing gets physical. She said she's afraid something's gonna push them down the stairs, and that's kind of her worst nightmare. Do you want to start upstairs? Yeah, let's do that. In the bedroom? I think or... that's the most logical place. That's where Cindy feels like she gets touched the most up there. Do you think that freaks her out more than she's letting on? She I mean... says she worries that because it's escalated over the years, like since they got here, she's afraid the next step will be it like actually harming them. Whatever's here seems very physical. We hope it will use that energy to reach out. Since we don't know how it will communicate, we'll use a recorder to capture any electronic voice phenomena and a K2 meter to detect electromagnetic fields generated when a spirit could be present. Okay, I would like to start doing EVP work. Hey, uh, Adam? Yes. The K2 meter is going off. Hello, is someone in here? Can you make this go all the way up to red? You can let it go. Make it stop. I'm sorry, it just stopped. I'm gonna ask you some questions. If it's a yes answer, I want you to light it up, okay? Are you still here with us? You hear that? No. Did you hear that? What'd you just hear? I don't know. There. 